Um, there's an agenda for today that I pasted in and found Sumo. So have a look there and add your stuff that you want to talk about. Uh, otherwise, let's get started. So I see there were no action items from right, uh, last week, right, Roland? Because you you drove yes. the last week's session. Okay. Yep. So all good. <coughs> Nothing to do. Cool. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, Sumo Dev. Who wants to take that one? Sure, I can take that. Um, so this is actually the same thing that we had last week. Uh, we we're talking about the current sprint, and the current sprint is. Uh, taking one item from our roadmap, uh, which is the show for implementation to make it more flexible to allow for more than one, uh, more than two products, mobile and desktop. We also want to have show for for Firefox OS. So currently we are exploring that um, and soon hopefully we can implement that. And that is the one item that we are doing for the roadmap. Other than that, we are spending more time on the 25% uh, items in this sprint. One of the things that I definitely wanted to let you know is uh, bigger avatars. They are coming. Um, so <laughs> yes, you can finally see what that person really looks like and not just a 16 pixel by 16 pixel presentation or whatever it was that we had. Um, yeah, they really looked out of place, especially in our big, shiny, new um, profile pages. Uh, so we decided to. Uh, use bigger avatars, but also at the same time move to a service that is being used by a number of other pages, among them uh, Mozillians, uh, but also other big internet websites, uh, uh, WordPress is using them, and also um, uh, a number of other high profile pages like GitHub and others. So uh, while we took the opportunity, uh, while we wanted to go uh, to big, with bigger avatars, we also wanted to take the opportunity to uh, move to this service so you don't have to update your avatar all the time everywhere just once on your avatar. Um, so yeah, that's one of the big, big changes coming this week. So be prepared for that. Um, other than that, uh, you can see the rest of the smaller items uh, on the Etherpad. That's what we are being. That's what we're working on this sprint. All right. Thanks, Kadir. Any questions for Kadir or Sumodev? Kadir, yeah. So, so when you, we switch to Gravatar, ex can mm -hmm. you explain how this works for people who already have images, or if they want to update their image, what happens? Yes. Uh, so, actually, I'm I'm still owing people uh, an explanation in the forums. Um, but what's going to happen is um, for new users, uh, new users will get the standard image, and if they want to change the image, uh, they go to their profile and go to Gravatar and set the Gravatar there. It's linked from the profile page. Like you say, change my um, uh, avatar, and you are linked to Gravatar where you can do that. Um, for people who already are on Sumo, already ha have accounts today, uh, if you have the standard icon, uh, we will just update your standard icon. If you already have uh, an avatar today, we will keep it. So nothing is changing for you. We will just blow it up. It won't look pretty. It won't look as good because uh, the current avatars are just 48 pixels wide, uh, so it won't look as good when we blow that up to bigger proportions. Uh, but it will be your avatar, the one that you have been using so far. Um, so the interesting thing is when you want to change it, then you go to your profile page and then you go to um, you, to Gravatar. And again, if you already have an account, you can just change it there. If not, you need to create that account and then change your avatar. But those people who are already using Gravatar, the nice thing is the, your avatar on the forum will be changed. Um, so you will, we will update your current uh, forum avatar with the one that you have been using on all the other pages with Gravatar. Um, and you can adjust that, uh, whether you, which image you want to have shown. Like if you want to have a special image shown on Sumo, we can adjust that there too. And how big are we going to show avatars on the on Sumo and in your profile? So it will depend on the uh, location. Uh, I would have to look into this uh, specifically in the back, but I think we said about 128 or 150 pixels on uh, normal uh, on forums on on forum postings, and bigger in your uh, profile page where we actually have the awesome. place for that. So it will fit into the um, into the actual layout of those pages. 
in some in some places we can have them bigger and in some places we'll have them smaller the nice thing uh, with going with gravatar is that we don't have to do this all on our end um, they provide different sizes already uh, so we can we just need one big pay, uh, image from you and then gravatar does the rest of giving us smaller ones and this is now totally implementation specific so I won't go into more detail <laughs> if you but if you have more questions uh, keep coming very cool yeah I'm really uh, excited about that it was really hard to see some something in those small pictures in those small profile <laughs> pictures sweet all right thanks Kadir um, I just want to quickly welcome a few new people that I see here. So Joshua is, has joined us in Surit, and I see that Sphere 66 is on the Etherpad, and so is Youssef. Um, and Josh Einard, okay, I already mentioned him. So lots of people. Uh, thanks everybody for joining. I hope you can hear us okay. We would love to see your faces as well, but it's okay if you don't want to. Um, if you have anything, just, just put it in the round table. Um, so we'll move on to UX update. I guess that's still you, Kadir. Yeah, since Bram can't be here because of time zone, uh, I'll take that to you. Um, so what we are doing this week is we are digging into um, the items that are needed uh, for getting us um, to 35% sulfate in the forum. We have a number of items. There is a tracker back for that. Uh, and we are working on them uh, this week. If you are interested in that, you can uh, just follow the tracker bug and you will see all of the uh, changes and all of the things that are going on um, with, with this specific initiative. We will also have uh, a number of forum threads this week where we discuss the implementation of some of these things. So just so it's not a surprise to people, we are actually working on that in this week and we want to have uh, we want to work together with the community and with people who are actually going to use those tools to make decisions uh, in one way, to go one way or the other. Uh, so that's what's happening this week. If you're interested in that, definitely be part of that discussion. It's going to change how the forum is working, hopefully for the better. Well, actually, I know it's going to be for the better. So, yeah. Any questions? Uh, other than if not, that, that's what I have for UX. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks, Kadir. So all you guys who are following us, if you don't have any cam or microphone, as I see Josh doesn't, you can uh, write either in the roundtable items or on IRC or in the either pad directly. So just don't be shy. Um, OK. So let's move on. I see that there are no roundtable items. Uh, anybody here for Firefox for desktop? No? OK. Uh, so no updates for desktop. Then let's move on to Android. Roland. Hi. Um, Firefox 24 is smooth. And um, another great release. Thank you. And Firefox 25 articles are, well, I'm trying to finish today. Um, Firefox 26 research, I would love your help. Just scoping which articles need to be uh, modified and improved. I have a start of an etherpad there. And that's about it. Can I just go on to Thunderbird while I'm talking? <coughs> um, Thunderbird 24.0.1 uh, was released a week ago. Uh, there are a few issues around McAfee. Um, if you're using McAfee, you can disable real-time scanning, which you don't actually really need. There are some pop issues and signature issues that are linked to in that Etherpad that I linked to. We are having a security release 2402 next week, and we might actually fix some of the above issues in the Etherpad that I just referenced. Um, that's about it. Sweet. Thanks, Roland. Um, any questions? Come on. OK, no questions. Then let's move on to, very exciting, Firefox mm -hmm. OS. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, yes. Go ahead, Hermina. <laughs> well, 
Naya was uh, talking a couple of seconds ago and now. So uh, we, sorry for not, uh, not uh, seeing it something earlier, we are just doing it now. Um, so um, last week we launched with Kongstar in Germany, so the first type of the phone. Um, and uh, as well, uh, there was the version 1.1 update in Spain for the city open. Um, now it's not hard, it's, uh, so we, we updated on October 16th and uh, good news is that uh, Telefonica allows all its users, both prepaid and postpaid, to uh, download the update no charge, even if they are using the data connection and not, uh, not wireless. Which is great, and this is only for Firefox OS phone. And this is, uh, this is it will be possible not only in Spain, but in Venezuela, in Colombia as well. So in Latin America, in the market in Latin America, where, uh, where Telefonica launched with us as well. And uh, there is more to come from, from Telefonica. Uh, I can't give more details now, but I think that in a couple of weeks we'll have more good news from them. Um, in terms of uh, localization, I don't know if I. I, I maybe leave Michael to, to update on this, but I will touch on, on a couple of points. So we have 20, 24 articles now ready to be localized and, uh, and for templates. So um, they are already there and uh, whoever wants to get involved, please, uh, please do so. We are really appreciate your help. Um, and I'm also working on the last Firefox OS report for, uh, for the month of October. Uh, I think we will. Uh, we are going to send it out this week. Uh, and it's already almost finished. Uh, just to give you a heads up, uh, in terms of volumes, um, last month we had around uh, 1,400 pieces of feedback. So if you compare to, to three months ago, when we only had uh, 230, it's quite a, quite an interesting uh, volume. Um, what else? Michelle, if you have anything else to add? That's it. Thanks for that. Okay. That's pretty awesome news. <laughs> <laughs> um, so very interesting. Thank you, Hermina. Anybody has any questions about Firefox OS or about Hermina or about Michelle? <laughs> No, come on. Okay. So, if no questions, let's move on to Thunderbird. Roland, you're back. Oh, I already gave my update. But if anybody has any oh, questions sorry. about the release, let me know. Um, McAfee is a nightmare. Antivirus is a nightmare, as as the desktop people uh, know. Ebay and Michael and whoever else dealt with desktop. Thanks, Roland. All right, metrics, Kadir. Yeah, so some good news, uh, but first some clarifications. Uh, so on the helpfulness graph, you can see that the helpfulness picked up over the last week or two. Uh, there is quite a bump there. So if you see that, that is uh, currently due to one article. Actually, I forgot the article now. Michael, do you, uh, do you know which one it was? I was going to ask you because I didn't. That's uh, new since the last time I checked the graph. Is that the um, the reset article or something, or the download thing? The download. It was due Update to one article. article. Uh, yeah, it was due to one article that is being linked to now. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I didn't write down which article that was, but I, I'll check that. So uh, ah. this is this is this is the typical when something links to us, we get that bump uh, thing. Um, but other than that, so that, that was the clarification there. But the good news is that the uh, sum, that summer is over. So if you look at our contributor graph, you can see that uh, almost all of our contributors, uh, contributor numbers are picking up again. Uh, so the slump that we've been seeing over the summer, it's seasonal. Um, and, and now contributor numbers are going back to what they've been before or to even better states, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, other than that, I actually don't have any specifics for, for metrics. Okay, that's great. Any questions for Kadir? For Kadir? 
<laughs> okay. If no questions, let's move on to knowledge base. Um, yep, no big updates, just what's in the wiki. Um, actually, the other thing I should do is add a link because um, in the contributor forum, uh, I was asked about um, if you've seen, I've been doing a lot of updates on Firefox OS articles and I've been using these like touch gesture icons on the screenshots and people are asking me, a number of people asked me where I got those from. Um, and so I, I have them like resized for Firefox OS screenshots and everything. And I have them on my people page. I'll put a link to that in here. That's about the only other thing. Okay. Cool. All right, we're moving fast. So I think we will be done very soon. Um, any questions for Michael or the KV, the wonderful KV? Okay. If nothing, then let's move on to localization. Um, hello, everyone. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm on a terrible connection. Um, I've been able to hear you, but I don't know if you can hear me. Can you? I can hear you. Good, good, good. So, hello, everyone. Um, I was I was away for one week, and uh, I, I tried to join this this call. In terms of localization, uh, I wanted to thank Marlena for working closely with Hermina and Michael and getting um, the latest articles that were updated to our contributors, our Firefox OS contributors. Um, she, uh, Marlena, thanks a lot for um, being so active, and of course, thanks a lot for uh, the guys working on the Firefox OS articles. It's the German community, the Hungarian community. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, as soon as I'm back to uh, back to business, um, which is going to be probably the day after tomorrow because I'll be traveling today, I will update you with uh, some more. But uh, expect to um, yeah to have some more juicy updates on Wednesday. Very glad to be back. Welcome back. We missed you, <laughs> by the way. Um, Thanks, uh, thanks, Rosanna. It was actually a pleasure to work on localization. I don't do that very often, uh, but it was a lot of fun to see how things are on the other side of the fence. Um, so yeah, thanks the German and Hungarian community for taking uh, care of the Firefox OS articles. I know it's a lot of work. So many, many thanks for being so responsive. We love you all, a big heart. Um, I'll move on quickly to the support forum. We're soon launching forums for Hungarian Serbian, as Kadir has already told you. So I'll just, I just want to extend a small request for help. If you know anybody who's a Hungarian Serbian speaker who would like to help on the forums uh, for Firefox OS, please let us know. Um, because we would really, 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 really need some help there. Um, the devices we will be launched soon, and we are expecting a few questions, so it would be great if we could be there to, to help our users. Um, and also, I wanted to, uh, to say thanks to the German forum moderators, especially Fuchs, uh, for helping set up a Firefox OS forum. Hopefully, that will be live very soon. And Andy, also known as Vavushel, please get well soon. He's been a bit sick. Um, so, hello. <laughs> hello and get well. Um, and that's about it uh, in regards to the support forum. There are a few threads on the contributor forums that we need to, to answer. I know that. Sorry about the delay. We have been really swamped with the summit and everything else. And, PTOs and traveling and everything, but we'll get back on track. Um, so please have a, just a bit more patience and we'll have everything. And that's it. Contributors of the week. Uh, now it's a fun time. Yes. It looks like Sean has a question on the Etherpad. All right. Yes. From Sean. Question regarding support forum. I noticed there was a bug to increase the sold rate to 35%. Yes, Sean, that's a bug. Well, actually, it's not really a bug. It's a goal that we have. <laughs> so we're trying, <laughs> we're trying to to help everybody increase that that percentage to 35. Um, if you follow that bug, it's actually a tracker bug that that Kadir. Um, 
like a deer file. It's it's it lists a lot of other bugs that is just like small features that or more changes that we're doing on the forum that will help us and help you um, change a bit that that percentage and help uh, get in, increase on the solve rate. Um, so if you have any other questions regarding that or how we're doing this increase of the solve rate, please let us know. Um, there were also some discussions on the contributor forum. If you want to participate there, that's awesome. Or you can also comment on the box if something is weird or you don't agree or you have other feedback or things you want to change. I hope that answers your concern. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the fun part, contributors of the week. I nominated one person called Do Douglas S.C. Hill. I cannot really pronounce it because it's a Twitter account. Uh, he's been awesome on the Army of Awesome with uh, 112 tweets in a week. Really good job. Managed not to get suspended. Awesome. Thank you so much <laughs> for doing that. It's, I know it's a great skill to do it. Uh, so many, many thanks for all your efforts and hard work. Let us, let us know how you did that. <laughs> yes. Actually, no, I'm still, I'm still looking to talk to Noctuito from the Spanish community who is like 7,000 tweets, never getting suspended. So that's, he's the king. He's the king of support. Of, on social media. Um, any other nomination? Come on, don't be shy. Okay. Well, if there are no other nominations, I'll let Douglas take all the credit for this week. So congratulations once it. again. He deserves it. Well done. Yeah. Yay. Um, yay. Well done. Well done. Um, so I guess we're done. Anybody wants to be a unicorn yeah. for today? <laughs> or not really. We actually discussed with the community. We need to to make sure that this is still valuable for them. Some people said that the they didn't understand the unicorn. Oh, that's actually a real <laughs> unicorn. Oh my God, that's so that's awesome. Right? The most wanted you have to, sticker at the summit right here. You have the same? What? what, what Where did you get that? those? We didn't get those. These are the 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 whimsy corn. Yep. Uh, I'm so, super so jealous now. Oh, is that from uh, Blake Winton and the Whimsy? Yeah. Add-on, yeah. whimsy yep. add-on. I've seen like huge ones, a sticker for the whole laptop. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw it, I think it was at the office, uh, but I don't know who has them or if they're custom made. That's really, really cool. I'm super, super jealous now. I want one. <laughs> this is like the most perfect unicorn for the unicorn section. They were in short supply. You couldn't just grab handfuls of them. They were really? building them out. <laughs> oh, one or two at and a I time. I have another limited edition. Does anyone oh. recognize this? What is that? <laughs> is that a whale? No, it's like a fire fox. fox. Like a very angular fox. Oh. This is uh, a Skinny's uh, logo. Ah. Um, oh, she made a, a super limited sticker too. I have a collection of limited stickers here. <laughs> All right. All so right. I guess that's it. We're done in 30 minutes. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Inconceivable. That's efficiency right there. Um, so thank you so much everybody for your participation and thanks all the contributors who were with us here today uh, and wrote on the etherpad or just looked at our faces. Uh, hopefully next time you guys can also show your faces. Get a camera <laughs> if you don't have one. It's a lot of fun. Um, so have a great week.
uh, and you know have a great day you guys I'm going to sleep because it's really dark in Germany so <laughs> it's 30 I can see the clock behind you you're not gonna go to sleep at look <laughs> yes but look at that that's like night winter's See? coming do you not have your blue light put the blue light on <laughs> I have the blue light. I was going to say, true. blue light for the win. Yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks, and talk to you soon. Okay. Ciao. Cheers. Bye. 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 B